What's up everybody? Today I'm going to talk to you about a very wonderful movement called a jerk, all right? I'm not talking about myself. Uh, talking about a movement with a kettlebell or a dumbbell, okay? So um, a jerk is a variation of the press, there's also a variation of the push press, all right? Hey, how's it going, Mish? Good to see you. Um, so when we're doing a jerk, what you want to focus on is getting that power and that force from your hips, okay? So I'll do it with a bell first, all right? So you want to have a light grip as always. You want to use your um, the force from the floor to drive the weight overhead. You don't want to try to muscle it with your shoulder and with your arm. So the purpose of the jerk is to get the weight overhead with a weight that you cannot normally press, okay? So this would be a little bit light for me to do a jerk with, but I'll do it for demonstrative purposes. So as I load the weight, I'm gonna have my hips really tight. I'm gonna use you know, some soft knee. I'm gonna drive up, and as the bell gets to the point, at the highest point, I'm gonna dip under it. The key is that dip, okay? It's, a, it's a difficult to get to the jerk of using a very lightweight because you're not going to feel the necessity to get it to dip under it. So what, I'm, what I mean by that is, if it's too light, it's going to be very, very floppy. Okay, so I want to drive up and then dip into my heels. So it's essentially, if I do it without weight, I'm doing this. Jump and then that. All right, so that's the way, the way you can practice the jerk is just jump and then accelerate the hips landing quiet. Okay, so with a dumbbell, it's the exact same thing. No real change, you're going to drive up and sit under the weight. So if you watch for a split second, when the weight gets to the highest point, I get under it, okay? So I'm not going all the way up, it's not, a, not the full range of my arm. I'm getting up and dipping under, all right? If it's very heavy, then I'm going to have to basically drive and then stomp under, okay? So those are the variations of the jerk, dumbbell and kettlebell. Remember, getting under the weight, creating a lot of force from the ground, breathing with force on the whip is how you complete this drill accurately. Give that a shot.